So I finally made it to the time skip of One Piece, and boy, have the Straw Hats changed over the past two years. From looks to strengths and weaknesses, I'm sure there's a lot for me to discover about the abilities they've learned over the past two years. But today, before I start all of that, I wanted to rank them from my least favorite to my favorite redesign, and also power rank them based on how strong I think each of them have become. Drop a like on this one and enjoy. I have prepared large scaled images of their pre time skip and post time skip designs, and we're going to compare and rank them top to bottom. First up. Oh man, I actually don't want to start with this one. I'm going to be honest, chat. I think Brooke is probably one. This may be controversial. I actually might lose all my retention of this video at the very beginning because I'm actually not the biggest fan of Brooke's time skip design. I think it's too much. A lot of the charm of his character was in the simplicity of his suit and his cane. I get that his new like persona is that of like a rock star. He's got the guitar. He's like, he's like, he's a soul king now, right? But I think I actually liked his pre time skip more. I liked the simplicity of the little top hat more. Please don't click off the video i'm sorry soul king brook is gonna tentatively go in no thank you we'll see if anything moves around but he's starting at no thank you okay next choppa i've been told this is a, a little bit more of a controversial one i do think that pre time skip chopper was probably better he's still the most adorable little reindeer like it doesn't matter you know he's still got the hat he's still got the antlers he still has the core of his outfit i think it's maybe the color scheme pre time skip chopper he doesn't even wear a shirt so like it, it's not that hard to complicate it he just has pants and a, a hat i maybe there's too much going on in terms of like the colors for the shirt the pants and then the hat is so different chopper was cuter pre time skip but not like that bad i want to put him in not so much I think for now. All right, next. Frankie. Notice how I can't roll my R's. Man, I said Chopper was controversial. Is Frankie the most controversial change? I feel like Frankie is the biggest change. Like both physically and metaphorically, he's the biggest change. I really like Frankie's design. The thing is, I didn't like it at all whenever i thought that his hair couldn't change because i thought the best part about it was his hair and how it flopped whenever he was low on energy low on cola the fact that he can physically change his hair i actually like so i'm actually gonna put frankie at okay i think the thing is i don't think i hate any of the changes so whenever stuff is like down here in the bottom half i don't dislike them it's just in comparison to all the other straw hats luffy luffy is so super minimal the noticeable change or notable change the sash and then the scar the scar is a good ad it shows his past his history it has a story behind it and we know that story see i'm gonna counter my own argument and say i think the contrasting colors work here where they didn't with chopper the thing is do i like the change yes it's not a huge change we will tentatively put luffy at decent i think i don't know i'm probably gonna move people around this is really hard next Oh. Chat, this is genuinely a bad change because I'm distracted half the time. Okay, while you guys are just absolute coomers, I'm going to make notable observations about the design. I love the berry belt. Belt is awesome. Hair, spectacular. Nami is at her best with her hair this long, bro. I honestly have to take some points off for her looking so perfect bro is not looking at the belt what are you talking about nami's gonna go into good again tentative this is very hard i'll probably move everybody around at the end robin i liked robin before i like robin now i kind of miss the cowboy hat i'll be honest but she didn't wear the cowboy hat after alabasta her eyes are different too yeah she genuinely looks like a different person compared to the rest of the straw hats the rest of the straw hats look like themselves more or less robin actually looks like a different person now as for the outfit i think alabasta robin was the best in terms of her outfit and everything and her vibe it changed a lot after alabasta i still like her outfit she's gonna go in eh sanji bro i'm gonna be honest i'm a straight man sanji kind of like sanji foin now the suit color way better the facial hair way better the thing that i don't like is uh the maturity hasn't budged i like sanji i think the whole like flirty woman thing is funny. He genuinely got worse in terms of being obsessed with women. And I don't know if I'd take points off for that. 
Dude, the thing is, okay, I'm gonna move Brooke down, Chopper down, Sanji here. The swap with Robin. It is a design ranking. Therefore, he goes there. Usopp! Usopp and Jigga chat now! Oh my gosh! Besides Frankie, I think Usopp was the most shocking to me. An absolute Chad now. Holy guacamole. And he's still that kind of like lovable, kind of nervous, anxious Usopp that we know. He's going above Luffy. Actually, I actually want to put him above Sanji. We have one more. Zoro! Zoro went from Chad to Chadathan. He was already a great design, and he's even better now. With the uh what would you what would you call that? A green robe? You just call it a robe. And the scar, the eye scar. Zoro's really good. Very minimal change, but whenever a character only needs a minimal change to make it just a little bit better. They just took his white shirt off and put a green robe on him, and it makes him look more of like a final boss, if anything. Zoro's really, really good. Minimal change. He's like a better version of Luffy in terms of post time skip change. I'm actually going to put Frankie. Dude, this may be controversial. I like Frankie the most. Nami down here. Zoro, second best. Usopp, Nami, Sanji, Luffy, Robin, Chopper, Brook. I think this is it. Frankie at the best time skip change. Zoro, second best. Usopp, Nami, Sanji, Luffy, Robin, Chopper, Brook. My time skip design changes all right now with that being said now we get into the maybe perhaps even more controversial opinions i am going to power rank all these straw hats where i am now okay we're gonna just do these categories strongest it barely doesn't fit hard soft i weakest this makes sense right uh not the strongest change i'm literally going to be power ranking them based on how strong i think all of them are after the time skip okay we'll do strongest strong not as strong much less strong no because this doesn't make sense oh my gosh i'm freaking out put numbers strongest two three four weakest does this make sense for you people <laughs> who's first roll the dice how do we get brooke for okay whatever brooke post time skip again chat I need to, I will have to adjust at the end. This is not final as I do it because it's hard to do it, you know, in the grand scheme of things. Brooke was pretty strong pre-time skip, but the question is, did he do much training during time skip or did he waste his time as a rock star? Did that distract him from the grind? Maybe, probably. We're going to put Brooke at four. Nami! Okay, Nami actually got some apropos training on the weather island. Nami actually got apropos training in comparison. She was on a weather island. She did weather. Weather, you know? And yeah, I think if anything, had a probably a big power spike. We're going to put Nami tentatively at four three oh my god bro i mean bro we see zoro and like as soon as he gets back to sabaody he like cuts a shiv in half i'm pretty sure like just like mihawk when we first saw mihawk i'm kind of scared i'm gonna put zoro tentatively at the strongest right now out of all the straw hats he kind of scare me chopper okay but Chopper's different, right? He's not a fighter. He's a lover. He's the doctor. So I think I ranked... No, we, we have to rank him in, types, in terms of... It's power ranking. It's not like specialization ranking. The question is, did Chopper get stronger than Brooke? Probably not. He's probably a way better doctor now. We're going to tentatively put Chopper at the weakest. Luffy! Now, I have seen on the way to Fishman... This is probably the one thing that I have seen uh, in terms of like a tease of how strong Luffy got. Where he did the elephant thing. Where is arm got like huge and he punched uh, him and robin i've seen because robin had like the gig gigantic stuff but we'll get to that luffy probably got i don't know if he got stronger than zoro or not because luffy trained with rayleigh and very unsimilarly to chopper was like fighting for his god dang life every waking moment probably on this horrific island probably had the hardest out of it next to zoro luffy's gonna tentatively go at two i'll put him right under the zoro for right now actually usopp i mean usopp shredded now for one he's absolutely shredded so hand-to-hand -hand combat uh, most people are probably done he kind of showed like his new ranged stuff in the bar when he first got back to sabaody like the plants and stuff i don't know i feel like he's a real wild card i'm gonna tentatively put usopp right here above nami below luffy and zoro next frankie my goodness gracious great googly moogly i don't know what frankie is hiding in these giant arms of his but his brother could have an atomic bomb for all I know. The nipple lights are already just nuts. Same legs, yeah, he has the same legs as me. I feel like Frankie with his hair thing being not as big of a priority, this is kind of just a prediction. Pre-time skip Frankie, 
his hair is the whole thing that shows how much energy he has left right i'm gonna speculate that the fact that he's like clean shaven now shows that he doesn't or will not rely as much on cola and will be able to last a lot longer in terms of combat because like in any lobby bro fought chapapa and was gassed you know what i mean so i think frankie had one of the biggest spikes out of anyone both in terms of his physical design and what he has. I'm gonna put him above Usopu. Sanji, Sanji is next. Sanji probably went through it. I mean, he trained under Ivan and Ivan is probably like cracked in terms of knowing what Sanji needed to train. The thing is, man, I'm gonna make a lot of Sanji fans mad. My thing is how much stronger can Sanji get? Hear me out, Zoro has Asura and like these demons and all this stuff, right? And his blades, Luffy stretching, applications with hockey frankie he's got bombs he's got you know all this stuff usopp slingshot uh, you, you could he could shoot anything at you sanji yes he's strong but he's just got his legs right he's got diablo jambe i'm hoping that he proves me wrong if anything i want him to prove me wrong but right now he's going under usopp robin now robin i also got a tease of how strong she is because she used like the giganto stuff like giganto was it hand or foot i don't care she can throw that on me i think robin has long been the most hidden op of the straw hats her ability is so insane at a large scale that i feel like she's kind of been underused underutilized that being said post time skip robin i'm guessing is around here right under luffy and zoro poor chopper bro i kind of feel bad i actually kind of feel bad zoro the strongest of the straw hats right now luffy number two probably really close to each other mayhaps robin yes frankie down here i feel like frankie's like in his own category and yeah, I think this is about how strong all the straw hats are. Where does the trio of danger rank on this list? I'm dumb, bro. Shut it down. Level three gas.